Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by today to see my, I think this is my second pattern of a butterfly. I think this is pattern number two of a butterfly. I have probably a dozen, but I wanted to throw another one out there because I did get a couple of requests of, I wish I could see some more butterflies because I made one I think last weekend for the random acts of crochet kindness. You can make little butterflies and leave them all around town. Great little applique for almost City thing. You could attach it to a bag or a hat. It would be so cute. But I'm going to use Karen Simply Soft today. This one is Limelight. If anybody knows what this one is, it's Karen Simply Soft. I know that, but I lost my band. So if anybody knows, let me know in the comments so that I can remember and keep it in my brain. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks. So I'm going to start with the Limelight. That'll be all the middle part right here. You can change colors anywhere you want to in there. Like this guy, I didn't even change his colors. He just, the edges are part of the pink. So he was all one color. He was two colors. And this one, I made three colors. You can do whatever you want. It's really, really simple. So we want to do a magic circle, which is like this and this. Under, over, twist, and through. Super easy peasy. If you are not familiar with the magic circle, I have a tutorial. It's probably only two, three minutes long that shows this in a little bit slower pace so you can catch it and make easy peasy. All right, chain one, it does not count. I'm going to do two double crochets. I want to mark that first one more. So remember, chain one didn't count. There's a double crochet another double crochet and chain two. I'm going to do that for a total of eight times. That was number one. So double crochet, double crochet, chain two. And there's my last chain two. So now we should have eight sets of one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Yes, we do. So now we just slip stitch into our marked stitch. There you go. And we can pull our circle in tighter. And now we have this little flower, so snowflake looking little guy. He's easy peasy. Please remember that it really helps my channel when you watch the video all the way to the end. All right, so chain one. I'm going to take out my stitch marker in every chain space. We want to do two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets in every chain two space. So there's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. That's my chain space. Now you jump over to the next chain space and do that again. Really easy. Two doubles. Two chains and two doubles. And jump to the next one. Two doubles. And there's my last chain space. You get two doubles, two chains, and two. Then we want to slip stitch into our first stitch from way over here, which I forgot to mark this time. Darn it. I am so silly. So there we go. Now our little snowflake got a little bigger. And our round three is pretty simple. Chain one so we're ready. And in that same spot that we just slip stitched into, gets a single crochet. And we'll mark them this time. Because yeah, I didn't last time. It's very anti me to not use my stitch markers. There we go. In this chain space, every chain space is going to get eight double crochets. So there's our big chain space right here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. 
7, and 8. That is this part right in here, right here. And now in order to get it to come back in, right in here, in between these two double crochets right here, these two sets, we want to do a single crochet right there in between those two. And then do our eight again. Very, very easy. Oopsie. Six. And in between these two, right here, we want a single crochet. And in our big chain two space, eight more. All the way around, that's our sequence. It's really easy peasy. And here's number eight. Number eight, and then we want to slip stitch down in where we did our very first single crochet. In that. It's even bigger snowflake flower now. So now we're almost done. That was it. That was round three already. Finish off. And now we're going to change to this swirly color. And I'm really hoping somebody tells me what this one was called again. This is my four millimeter prim hook. And though this one, Karen Simply Soft says it wants a five. I use a four so the stitches are nice and tight. All we need to do is slip stitch into our marked stitch with our new color. And even if you don't want to change colors, that's fine. Then you just have to make a single crochet and a chain one in every stitch around. Single crochet and a chain one. Single crochet and a chain one. Single crochet and a chain one. That gives you this really fun little zigzag. And you've seen me use this on a couple of things before. If you've watched my other videos, you have definitely seen this stitch. I've used it several times, but it just makes a little zigzag, so it gives a little bit of texture. It's just kind of fun. So again, there's a single crochet and a chain one. And every one all the way around. Super easy. And we're almost done with our cute butterfly. I think all butterflies are cute though. Especially, just make them any color you want. They're all so cute. It just doesn't matter. That's why I have so many. I was on kind of a butterfly kick for a while. I haven't done that many lately, but quite some time ago I made quite a few butterflies. I was just having fun they're just cute. Alright, there's our last stitch. So we do not want to connect him yet. Not quite yet. Because he doesn't look like a butterfly yet. Right now it looks like a big snowflake or a doily or something. So we need to make it look butterfly. We have to butterfly it. So which means we're going to flip it over. Tuck in all of these little ends. You can trim those down, weave them in, tuck them in. Whatever you need to do. And then we fold this in half. So there's half of our butterfly here, and there's half of our butterfly there. So cute. Now we're going to go back into our loop, because we didn't finish off yet. We did not slip stitch. So I want to slip stitch through this side, and through the opposite side. And just slip stitch that together. Now we want to go one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten chains. Wrap it all the way around and slip stitch into that same spot, which is right, right here. Slip stitch in the first place we went to in on the bottom of the other side. So all we did was really chain and connect this little loop all the way around. It's connected the little loop. And then you can finish him off. 
But you can see I used a four millimeter hook here. I use a three millimeter hook with Karen Simply Soft here. Look at the difference that that made. So again, if you wanted to make them even bigger, use a five hook. I'm very pleased with this color combination. It's much brighter, obviously, than these are. Let's see how, how easy it is to change the way you want it to look. Bigger hook, brighter colors, smaller hook, more subdued colors, very pastel-y, different yarn, made it even smaller because this is really tiny yarn. So this is just super fun. Last thing we need to do is just make his antenna. So I just go with a slip knot. And we'll chain eight or ten, whatever you think. I'm going to chain eight. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. I would do pick eight or ten. I think they look good. And then just finish that off. Pull it tight. And we're going to fold this in half so we can make these two ends about the same. They don't have to be exact. And all you have to do is fish this through because I haven't had any trouble with my antennae coming out once I pull them up here and even them out, they pretty much stay secure. If you want them to be very secure, then do just do a little whip stitch real quick, right on the top there, just to keep them in place. But I haven't had any troubles. All of these are staying just fine. So there's my cute butterfly. I think this is number two. I have so many. I probably won't bring all of them out because I think that having like a dozen butterfly videos might be a little bit overkill. But I'll probably have three or four total. I'll pick up my favorite ones. But I know this one is super easy and he's really cute. So that's why I chose this one for I think it was number two. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and like and share and all that fun stuff and stop back real soon. Thanks. Bye.